Why do I drink Coca-Cola? And why do you drink Coca-Cola even if you shouldn't? Okay, why did I start uh, with Coca-Cola? The reason is when we drink Coca-Cola, we know that it's not uh, that much of a good thing uh, for a variety of reasons because it's acid and it basically expands in your stomach. There are other type of problems with the sweeteners. We don't really know the long-term impact of the sweeteners on our health. So the question is, why do we do it? And this is very well understood from a behavioral economics perspective. The reason why we do it is because we, human beings, are wired in a certain way. We always privilege the short-term gain, the immediate gain, which is the gain of pleasure or the gain of in my case, break with, uh, you know, studying and working like crazy and having this moment of pleasure over the long term, because the long term doesn't give us immediate reward. That's how consumers think. Now, you might say, how all of this has to do with AI? What, what the heck has to do with AI? I was thinking of a new product, uh, which working these days, really spend a lot of time to a artificial intelligence biogenetic product. So, namely, a product that could predict your ability to get a severe case of coronavirus and maybe over the time your propensity of getting a severe form of flu a season rather than another season. But then I, you know, I went on and I researched whether there were other companies that have ever uh, tried to do this and it turns out that there are two companies, Ancestry and uh, 23 and Me, that in a way they use artificial intelligence and genetic to make some kind of prediction. Ancestry does your DNA background and where you come from. And the other one is more like predicting the risks that you might have to get certain type of sicknesses. And the fact is both of them, after they have invested a lot of money in marketing, last year have uh, laid off a lot of people. That is an indication that they're not growing as they should. And I think a lot of people are wondering why they're also changing business model. They're going more towards an healthcare type of solution. So developing drugs, developing services for the hospitals and so on for when there is an emergency, when there is an absolute need rather than a service for the consumers for their future. And so we back to the square zero, which is basically looks like consumers do not respond to something in the future. They respond only something in the present. And that led me with the big questions. I mean, does this product have in mind would work? I have some doubts about it. So what do you think? Do you think we can conclude, I think, as, as an appeal for this uh, video that uh, it is difficult to design products for which consumers do not get an immediate gratification? Or perhaps we could switch all of this in some strange way to make it such that consumers get an immediate gratification and therefore they might pay for it and therefore we have a blast in the marketplace. Let me know.